Welcome to the demonstration of installing a Roxy hybrid REST API application. I'm just going to run through the basic commands to get it running in this demonstration, nothing more. So first of all we clone the repository. But what we also want to do is make sure we check out the dev branch. That's the one that knows how to create a hybrid application. So a hybrid application is one where you can use the Roxy X query as part of an MVC framework, very similar to Ruby on Rails. Whereas the REST API is a set of endpoints shipped with the version 6 of the product. The benefits of using a hybrid application is that you can do both from within the same context. So this means that one application could have a piece of JavaScript that's just rendering data that has come from an X query query, or it could be rendering data coming from a REST API call. Okay, so that's our application created, but it's called Roxy, which is not particularly useful, so I'm going to call it Test App instead. I'm going to have a look at what that's created. I use an application called TextMate. It's a great little application. shows you everything that's in the folder. So you have your xQuery MVC application here, very similar to Ruby on Rails. And then you have your deployment here. So this is determining what to deploy with the application. So I'm just going to go and initialize the application. So we've not got any config files yet. That goes off and creates one. So you see build.properties has been created. We see the username and password here, change Roxy to test app. That will affect the databases that are created on the server. I'll also change the port numbers used as well. So 8101 for the application, 8102 for the upload. I keep authentication to digest, normally change it to application level, but I don't want to go and edit the application. This is the most important one though, what type of application do you want? So I'm just going to select hybrid there because I want both a Roxy MVC application as well as a REST API app. And then what I can also do is specify what the local environment means. So for now, that's just our local host machine. I'll then save that file and quit out. What I then need to do is bootstrap the application to my local machine. So what this goes off and does is it goes and creates our test app hyphen content database with a forest on it. So that's where our content, our documents will be stored. It goes off and creates a test app hyphen modules database, which is where the REST server is installed along with our uh, Roxy MVC application code all in the same server. It then creates a HTTP server pointing to that modules database with both the Roxy and the REST API installed and creates a XDBC server to allow upload of information to that content server so if we wanted to use content pump or something like that. It takes several minutes to do the bootstrapping process but it's well worthwhile because it means I don't have to manually go through and do it myself. I can just ship the application uh, with the configuration as required. What I can even do is go and set up the application manually, use a piece of XQuery to download the full server settings, and I can save that within a config XML file and ship that with my Roxy application. So if you were to deploy this application on a new developer's machine, for example, it would basically be able to go off, create the databases exact, with the exact same configuration, no manual input required. And then it would ship with some test content perhaps, as well as being able to deploy the application himself. Oh, within just a few commands, as I'm showing today. Once the bootstrap completes though, that isn't all you need to do to set up the application. That will create you the server, but it won't deploy your code. So all you'll have to do is you'll have to run the ML local deploy modules command. This command ships your application xQuery code into the server. It also um, enables the REST endpoint. So that's what I'm going to do now. So I've got a local deploy modules. There's also a local deploy content you can use. Uh, so if you did have a content folder with some sample documents in, it would go off and do that itself. You can ignore that error message about the REST extension. We haven't built any REST extensions. We're just using the default REST server, so that doesn't apply to us. So now that's installed, I can go off into Safari. I can go and have a look at my local host on port 8101. If I hit enter, then we will see the basic Roxy application uh, that we've configured. So no results because there's no documents. There's a sample login screen there. And if I search for my name, you see the search will successfully run, but there will just be no results. To prove that it is a hybrid application on the same server, same port, so no cross-site scripting required, 
What I can also do is execute one of the rest endpoints. So this is just executing a search, bringing back XML results for the text Adam there. So we see that we've passed in the text, we see how quickly it was resolved, but of course there's no documents there. I can also, just to prove that this isn't fake, I can also return that in JSON as well. So you see the JSON information. Very simple and quick to do. So if you're going to go on to one of the other uh, you know, videos in this series, you can stop now. If, however, you're just doing this to see if you can, like me, then what you can do to clear out that application and all of its servers and databases is you can run the ml local wipe command. What this will do is it will go off and remove all that information, the content, the modules, the server configuration, and you will then need to run the ml local restart command in order to totally clear out uh, the configuration and restart MarkLogic server. All very straightforward to do with a one command line from uh, the prompt there. Very easy. So hopefully that's been informative for you today. <coughs> uh, keep an eye on my blog and YouTube to see the rest of the series. Restart my server and good night.